we'll talk about chakras. Chakra, the word chakra means a circle, a layer. And in yoga or in general, one can understand any entity as described in terms of seven layers, like layers of an onion. You peel one, there's something else, and all the layers have to be in harmony. So in yoga, we talk about seven chakras, and we'll talk about what those chakras mean, first in a physical sense, then more metaphorical sense. And these, this concept of seven chakras for any entity, and an entity could be a human being, like me and you, could be a business, a hospital, a political party, a society, a culture, could apply to anything. So the first chakra is called Muldhara. Muldhara, which represents the structural strength, the raw strength of that entity. And in our case, applying it to our human body, the raw strength that flows through our body. Muldhara is associated with the base of our spine, and it represents the strength that flows through our body, just raw physical strength. Without physical strength, it's very hard to cultivate other uh, talents in life. So having a strong body, pain-free body, muscular body, that part of represents the muldhara. The second chakra is the creative part of our being and it's called swadhisthan. And just like muldhara, mool, just to remind us the first chakra, muldhara, the word mool means core, central, dhara means flow. So the flow which sustains us, the strength that sustains us. The second chakra I mentioned, Swadhisthan, which is the creative, the pleasure center. Right? So it's centered at our sexual organs. It represents the creativity in our life. And every organism, every entity has to have creative expression, which provides joy and pleasure in life. So having that creativity is an important part of any entity, and especially a human being. And the creativity could be expressed in so many ways, through music, to pleasure of all sorts. So creativity is extremely important. Uh, and that's the second chakra, Swadhisthan. The third chakra, Manipur, centered around the stomach area, represents the balance in life, balance in our body and mind, balance between our heart, our muscles, our lungs, balance in our physical body, balance between our mind and body, society and ourselves, our social balance, our spiritual balance. So Manipur is the third chakra. The fourth chakra represents our emotional connection to others, our love, pleasure, wanting to do things for others. And that is Anahat, centered at our heart. So Anahat chakra. And often we open our chest, we say open your heart, and that's responding, trying to develop and open our heart chakra. The next chakra is the ability to express feel freely, to laugh, to express whatever is in our mind. That is centered at our throat, and that is the chakra of Visuddha, very important chakra. And especially when you're surrounded by people, being able to express what is in your heart, what you're thinking, as well as joy and sorrow as well. So being connected to expression, freely being able to express, that's the throat chakra. The next chakra is being aware of yourself. So that represents our inner eye, centered at the center of our eyes and around our forehead here, Ajna. And that represents understanding yourself. So often in yoga, we say, close your eyes, look inwards. And so we are awakening our inner eye. So just like outside, we can see here's a banana, here are some leaves. Inside also, awareness of yourself. So that you're connected to yourself, you listen to your body, you listen to your pain, your sorrow, you respond to yourself, self-awareness, understanding yourself, and then your actions representing that understanding. And the last chakra is Sahasrara, so top of our skull, and that's connecting with the universe. So connecting with the whole universe, recognizing that even though my body, our body is the small entity, we are really part of the universe and we are connected to the whole universe. So in yoga, when we take postures, we try to awaken, open all these chakras. We do postures that represent strength. So for example, often we take a posture, we say, engage your glute muscles. 
squeeze your glute muscles that engages the muldhara starts driving strength through our body. Often we take a wide stance and bend at your knees, press your heels down, engage your glute muscles. We open our knees, which is opening our swadhisthana, our creative chakra. So this area, which is by opening it, making yourself vulnerable to new pathways, creativity. You open ourselves, postures which press our stomach upwards like the bridge asana opens and strengthens our Manipur. Often we say open your heart, pull your arms back, open your heart, open your throat for our Visuddha Chakra, reaching up, look upwards, reach up, reach up, reach up. That's opening our Sahasrara. So a lot of our movements are working towards opening and strengthening all our postures. Often we say fold your hands, pull your thumbs to your forehead, close your eyes, look inwards. So we are working on connecting and opening our Ajna, our inner eye. So a lot of postures, a lot of movements we do are, are focused towards working and strengthening, opening. So in an ideal situation, all our chakras should be open and there should be flow between chakras. So you are strong physically, you are balanced, you are creative, you are emotionally able to express yourself, your voice, your writing can express yourself. You are totally connected with yourself and you are also connected with the universe and you realize that I am part of this huge universe which allows you, that connection to the universe allows you to understand when troubles come, when difficulties come, how to face them not get disheartened, not get upset. When you realize your connection to the universe, that you are a universal being, small events can then not jolt you, not dishearten you, and you stay joyful and optimistic. So focus on all seven chakras as you perform your yoga.